It was a chance to remember Robert Mugabe and say goodbye to Zimbabwe's founding father, who ended white minority rule in the country. But there were no big crowds. Many Zimbabweans say he was responsible for ruining the economy. He was, however, honored at the ceremony as a principled leader, a liberator, and an intellectual giant who championed pan-Africanism, something the continent hasn't seen much of recently. South Africa's leader Cyril Ramaphosa was booed by some Zimbabweans, angry at how African foreign nationals are being attacked and treated in South Africa. Ramaphosa apologized. I stand before you as a fellow African to express my regret and to apologize for what has happened in our country. Other African leaders spoke fondly about Mugabe's dream for Africans to own their own resources, including land, without interference from Western nations. In honor of this gallant son of Africa, I call upon the leaders and the people of Africa to be united and to guard against negative influences and manipulation that may erode our common values and our aspirations. Mugabe was given a 21-gun salute, the highest of honors. The military helped keep him in power for 37 years, but they also removed him in a coup in 2017. People who attended the memorial service say it was a fitting send-off for a man who ruled them for nearly four decades. This is a 60,000-seater stadium, the biggest in the capital, but it's not even half full. Many people did not come to the memorial, but are carrying on with their lives, trying to make ends meet in a struggling economy. Mugabe was controversial in life and in death. There was even a dispute between the government and the family over where Mugabe should be buried. Now it's been decided his final resting place will be at the National Heroes Acre Cemetery in the capital, but only after a mausoleum or special grave has been built. That will take about 30 days. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.